still here dealing with Erica. She's going through right now. It's actually passed a little bit west of the Caribbean chain where we are. I think it passed a bit north of Guadeloupe, but we're still getting the, the outer edges of it as we speak. And it actually hasn't been too, too bad. We've been getting a lot of gusts around 35 to 40 knots, and it's supposed to forecast a little bit more still this afternoon, getting into 45 to almost 50 knots. But just had an updated forecast, you can see here from, uh, from NOAA Weather's uh, website, and it looks like they've updated it, that it has changed trajectory and is no longer kind of coming towards us. It was forecast to head west and then swing north and come up behind us from underneath rather and um, and now it looks like it's going to just pass right off to the west we had almost four inches of rain in the forecast between 5 and 8 p.m. this evening and now they've already dropped that down to 10 millimeters or maybe half an inch so it looks like we might be missing our rain opportunity again even with Erica so unfortunately that would be the only uh, bad thing but uh, other than that we're real happy that the wind has missed us. You can see we've got a really really good protected area here. The boat is hanging in really well in, this, uh, in the slipway and we've been watching the, the area and just seeing some of the, some of the squalls going by as the first bands of weather started coming in this morning and this afternoon. It wasn't too bad last night. We had some gusts you know around 20-25 knots but nothing too severe. So anyway, with any luck, this one uh, is going to go by the wayside very soon and it should be back to almost business as usual by tomorrow, which is Friday. So I hope you guys are all faring through it as well, any of you that are out here dealing with it like we are and for all of you back home, well, hope everything is good, you're having a great day and we'll talk to you again soon. Alright, next report. Bye for now.